what is your opinion on NASCAR today? How how they're doing today? Uh, I, so in in one sense, I think it's really good because you know, and you probably could even speak on this. I, I felt like the scheduling for a long time was the most monotonous, boring schedule of all time. Yeah. You go to the same racetracks twice in like 10 weeks. Um, ha- you know, all the racetracks almost felt the same and it just got boring and it got stagnant. You could see on everybody's face during, during the season. Like, so I, I love what they're doing now schedule wise. Um, I think there's a lot. Of, I mean, the talent that's in there right now is, is some of the best. I mean, whether it's, you know, guys like Martin and Denny and, and, you know, obviously Kevin's retiring, but he still runs up front or you got, you know, young guys that are in there like William and uh, Kyle and, and, you know, just the, the young talent that we have. I mean, I think the sport, the future of the sport, Ty Gibbs right now, the, the, the yeah. future of that sport when it comes to uh, just talent wise is huge. Now yeah. I'm not going to get, well, I think they should have a little bit more personality sometimes, you know. But the, but the sponsors get but mad. The spo- but don't you can't blame the drivers all the time for that. Some of them are like that, and some of them have personality, but they're not allowed to show it. Um, you know, this new car, I don't mind driving the new car. I think there's good and bad with it. Okay, uh, stop right there. That is that is my next question. What's your opinion on the next gen car? Yeah, I, so it's. I actually enjoy driving it, um, but, you know, I think there's things like I, I we all wish there was more horsepower in the car. You yeah. know, being at these mile-and-a-half racetracks, which the funny thing is the mile-and-a-half races have actually been some of the best races in, in the last probably 10 years of, of mile-and-a-half racing, but you just don't have a lot of off-throttle time. You know, I think Martinsville is the same way. Like, you downshift, and you throttle right back up, and it doesn't spin the tires. So mm-hmm. it makes the short track racing not very good. And it's been the same problem with the road course stuff. Like you just kind of mat the throttle off the corner. And uh, so, but I don't think they're going to change a horsepower. So, you know, that's, that's something that we got to work around. And, and, but you know what I do enjoy about it is it's not like NASCAR's just sitting on their hand, you know, their, their hands and going, ah, racing's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. They're trying stuff with the car, yeah. whether, whether your opinion about the car is good or bad. At least you keep trying stuff, and that's all you can ask for. Right. I agree. All right. So this one is a little controversial because it just happened over the last two days. What is your opinion on the way NASCAR is officiating technical inspection, uh, fines, uh, record-setting fines earlier this year with Hendrick? Uh, What do you think of all this officiating? Well, I I do think that you know, when it comes to, if your car is illegal, it's illegal. Now, you know, the, the problem is, is some of the parts, like, cause we had this, the, the problem with the 31 car the movers. Yeah. It yeah. was, but we had bought them. Like we didn't yeah. touch them. Like that's how they came. And then you get penalized for it. And then, it, you know, luckily it got rescinded to a certain degree. You still got Matt colleague still got fined for it, but the points at least weren't, were, were given back. But, um, it, the officiating, if your car is illegal, I like that they, you know, if they know that you're cheating on something, you should get penalized heavy for it. But sometimes, you know, the, the gray areas of, of whether it was just a bad manufactured part or things like that, you know, it's, it's tough. So, but at the end of the day, it's the same for all of us. So, you know, for the teams, you just got to figure it out. But I, I do like that if, if they know you were cheating, you should yeah. be heavily penalized for that. 